Before I begin, I would like everybody to take a moment to think about this question. What is the best ship in the world? Now, is it a banana boat? A Viking ship? Or maybe a spaceship? Well, my answer to that question is this. A relationship. <laughs> a relationship, in a broad sense, is about building a direct connection with something or someone. And the word relationship can be seen used in a variety of ways, from the predator-prey relationship in an ecosystem to a romantic relationship with a loved one. <laughs> but today, I would like to focus on talking about the relationships we have with those around us, as I believe this is one of the most important, one of the most important investments you can ever make in your life. By holding conversations, we as humans are able to distinguish our emotions. And this leads me to believe, to, leads me to believe on the basis of what makes us human. And relationships are something that, that we are developing every day of, of our lives. From going on a night out with our friends, to talking to our personal tutors on our never-ending coursework assignments. Or for the rest of you, it might be talking to your boss about the never-ending task they're giving to you. <laughs> and through these relationships, it has shown me how I have carefully crafted a social circle that I operate within. And through my personal experience, it has developed my personality and character. Before I came to university, I was serving in the Singapore Armed Forces. It was tough maintaining my relationships back then. My relationship with my family, my faith, and of course, my girlfriend. <laughs> and I'm willing to admit that before I joined the army, I used to take advantage of the fact that there, there was always somebody to clean up after my mess. There was somebody always there to plan an easy path for me to take. And there will always be somebody there to lend me a listening ear when I was going through tough times. But in the army, it was far from the case. I recall back when I was still in basic military training, where I had, I had restricted access to the outside world and limited means to contact my loved ones. And in that constricted environment, I saw how my peers and their relationships were beginning to shatter. And that made me panic as I thought it would soon be my turn. My insecurities were causing the walls of my relationship to crumble. And because of that, it took a toll on all my loved ones, not just my girlfriend. I began distancing myself from them to avoid the hurt. But being the adamant girl that she is, she persisted in talking to me. <laughs> she wanted me to change. She wanted me to be more open-minded about our relationship and return to my old self again. But it was only after countless dates that I soon realized her intention of all of this. <laughs> and um, we, it's hard being apart from everybody who has been so important to you all, your entire life. I began doubting the, the stability of the social circles that I used to roam within. Because without a firm foundation, Relationships crumble, and humans tend to have unrealistic expectations, and relationships can be strained due to distance. I thought I had been sailing the Royal Britannia of relationships, but I was actually sailing at the Titanic, <laughs> doomed for disaster. And this made me treasure my relationships even more, as I couldn't imagine myself without them. Hence, from that day, I always treasured the time I spent with my family and friends. I always treasured I had a smooth sailing day. I always treasured the time where I received unconditional love. And from this, it has showed me how a good relationship is one where all the parties involved evoke change in one another, not just complimenting each other, because that's easy. Anybody can do that. This ability to create change allows both parties to find oneself and progress towards 
the same destination. Like a sailing ship, we can either let the tides misguide us, or we can use a map and compass to guide our way. Like a sailing ship, we can repair the leakages in the, on board, or we can simply sink into the ocean. Or, like a sailing ship, there are bound to be rough seas ahead and unexpected events. We can either resign to the calamity of the ocean or embrace ourselves and adapt through the raging storm. So tonight, I would like everybody to think about the relationships you have with those around you. Think whether they are the best relationships for you. If so, you have found the best relationship in the world. But if not, don't worry. Make a change, put in the effort. Take charge of your ship, and you will soon find the hidden treasures beyond the seven seas.